19 to 33. Matthew 6, 19, it says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where more than rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Adi 33, 19 to 33. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye be evil, your whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? Verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more va- of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add a cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Therefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we be clothed? For after all these things do Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought, for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Praise God. So the Lord began by assuring us began by assuring us that in in this kingdom provisions zitakuwa praise god provisions for this life zitakuwa so he tells you that take no thought of what you shall drink what you shall eat what you shall wear your father knows praise god eh, for after these things do, do the gentiles seek and then he gives us an exhortation seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness then all the other things shall be added unto you hallelujah all the other things shall be added unto you so we know this scripture some of us to make to memorize but i want to to focus on that seeking first the kingdom of God Seek first the kingdom of God. Give me Daniel chapter 7, verse 13. Let us see the kingdom of God. Daniel 7, verse 13, 14, and 18. Daniel 7.13 This is Daniel. He says, I was watching in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him. 14. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. 18. 
says, but the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Praise God. So Daniel was seeing, he says, and I saw in the night vision, one like the son of man. Hallelujah. One like the son of man. And we know the son of man is Jesus himself. So he saw one like the son of man. He saw the son of man. And he came to the ancient of days, who is God. Verse 14 says, and he was given a kingdom. He was given dominion and glory and a kingdom to rule. That all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall never pass away. Praise God. So this kingdom was given to the son of man who is Jesus. But verse 18 says, and the saints of the most high shall inherit that kingdom. Hallelujah. The saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. No matter why we are told to seek first that kingdom. Praise God. Because the kingdom was given to the Christ and he says, even the saints of the most high, they shall take that kingdom. So there is a kingdom. There is a kingdom which is an everlasting kingdom kingdom, praise God, ruled by the Christ, and the saints of the Most High shall inherit it. Praise God. Revelations chapter 5, verse 9. We will open our Bibles today. Revelations chapter 9. Chapter 5, I'm sorry. Chapter 5, verse 9 and 10. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals thereof. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Verse 10. And have made us unto our God, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Non atena. So these angels are singing a song. They are singing a song and saying that you are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seal because you were slain. Because you were slain. And you have redeemed us to God and has made us a kingdom and priest and we shall reign on the earth. So we see there is a kingdom and there is that reigning with Christ. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 20. And verse 6. Revelations 20, verse 6. It says, Blessed and holy is he that pa has part in the first resurrection. Over such, the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Praise God. Blessed and holy is he that has passed in the first resurrection. And over him, the second death will have no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. It's important to know the, the days that we are living in. According to the Bible, the Bible in Asema, that we are in the last days. We are in the last days. And, and the Lord is coming soon. So, he says that we shall, all, we shall hear the trumpet of God and we shall be gathered in the heavens to wait for the Lord. That is the day of the rapture. And we should enter heaven, and after, and in heaven, there shall be seven years of tribulation on earth. Praise God. And after the tribulation, it says that the Lord shall descend, and they shall come, and there will be a thousand years of Christ to reign on the earth. Praise God. So Christ will rule on the earth for a thousand years. After we have gone to heaven, the tribulation, if you read, Revelation in Asema, the devil will be thrown into the bottomless pit and all those things. But my focus is those a thousand years. 
he says that this is the kingdom of the Christ. And for a thousand years, the saints of God will reign with him. Praise God. Mm, for a thousand years. We know Christ is the king. Christ is the king. If you read Matthew, the book, the whole book of Matthew, you will see Christ akielezo ama akidescribio kama a king. Praise God. So he is a king, but while he was on earth, those 33 years, he did not reign as a king. So these a thousand years, he will reign on this earth. On this earth. On this earth, a thousand years. It's called the realm of, of righteousness and of peace, the millennial kingdom. The a thousand years of Christ. Praise God. So there is a reigning with Christ. There is a kingdom. And Christ will be the head. He will be the ruler. And there is a, a reigning with Christ where the saints of God will reign with him. Praise God. Now you can understand, Bona Natuambia, seek first that kingdom. Praise God. It says, blessed and holy is he that has part in the, in the first resurrection. Praise God. Mm. Because those are the ones that will reign with him for a thousand years. Hallelujah. Yeah, so a thousand years, Christ being king, and we the saints reigning over, over the others. So you see, after the rapture, and the tribulation, those that will survive the tribulation, when we come, those that will be on the earth, and Christ is king, we will reign over them. So it's like the president. The president has his cabinet, when you are going to, they are MPs, they are governors, and they are so hierarchy koivo Christ and uh, some of them when you are gonna high ranks in enda kikungua. Praise God until they are a people that we are reigning over. Hallelujah. So He says that seek first that kingdom. Praise God. Seek first that kingdom of high importance. He pay priority to seek that kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm. It's either you seek the kingdom, it's either you partake of, you be part of, of the first resurrection, ama the second death will have power over you. Hallelujah. Ama kama si hivo, you will be the one that is being reigned over. Praise God. Mm. So, but Christ desires to have, remember the scripture say that the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. Hallelujah. Mm. So he says, seek first that kingdom and his righteousness. Seek first that kingdom and his righteousness. So Christ anasema, Christ knows, I ah, First John chapter 2. Verse 15. First John 2.15. So it's a scripture maybe some of you have seen and know. 15 to 17. It says, love not the Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the last thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. Praise God. So, Bible in Asema, love not the world, nor the things of the world. For whoever loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Praise God. So, clearly the Bible says, if you love God, the love of the world and the love for God cannot as he is, he cannot coexist. It's either you love the Father or you are loving the world. And what is in the world? He says the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. Now give me verse 17. He says, if you love this world, just know that this world is passing away. Hallelujah. The world passes away. It shall not stand forever. The world passes away. What will stand forever is the kingdom. His 
dominion is an everlasting dominion. But the world, it says the world is passing away and the last of it. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Praise God. Whoever does the will of God abides forever. But the world does not abide forever. Hallelujah. Yeah. So have, have, those, have that in mind. So seek first the kingdom of God. The other thing shall be added unto you. Among the things that Zitafanya will seek first the kingdom is the cares of this life. Praise God. Mm, the Lord knows that the cares of this life are able to, to distract you from seeking first the kingdom of God. Praise God. Mm, the cares of this life. That's why Anasema, take no thought of this. Do not be anxious of what you will eat or what you will drink. The Father knows that you need them. And the Gentiles are the ones that seek these things. Praise God. But you let your focus be first of all the kingdom of God and the righteousness of God. And then all these other things shall be added unto you. Praise God. Mm. So we see that the world is anything that shifts your focus from God to, to earthly things. Praise God. From, the world, from God to the earthly things. From God to the world. And he who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Praise God. Nataka you sing. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, let us have some examples. Matthew chapter 13, verse 22. Matthew 13 and 22. So if you read Matthew 13, it's a, it's a, it's a chapter that is filled with parables. And among the parables that Christ gave was the parable of the sower. Hallelujah. And he says that the sower sowed seeds and there were some seeds that fell on, on the pathway. The birds came. Men trampled the seeds underfoot and the birds came and they took the seeds away. There are some seeds that fell upon the rocks. They grew but they withered. There are some seeds that fell in the thorns and the thorns pricked them and the, the seeds that fell on the fertile ground. They fall on the fertile ground and they bore a harvest. Praise God. Mm. And the seed is the word of God. That's why we pray every time you're going to receive the word that God will make your heart that field that is of a fertile ground. But verse 22 he said, he also, uh, now he who received seeds among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful. Praise God. Mm. So those that when you need, um, the seeds that fell among the thorns are those that they hear the word. Pay attention. They hear the word. These are not unbelievers. These are believers who hear the word. Praise God. If you can describe those four settings, yeah, the path and the rocks and the thorns and the field, Iakwanza are the path in the unbeliever because the seed has not fallen in, in the garden. It has fallen qua paths. Praise God. This one do, do not add or receive the word. Satan comes and take the word, takes the word away. But this, the other three are believers. They are believers and this one says they receive the word. Ukiangalia wote wana receive the word but there are different challenges. This one receives the word. So he's a believer and as Kian and agree, he receives it and goes home with the word. But something happens is that the cares of this world, the same things the Lord was saying that you take, do not take thought of them. Now he's coming to tell us why. Because these cares of this world, they take, they are able to choke that word. The cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches. Praise God. Mm. The cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, they will choke that word and will not become fruitful. Okay? 
So a word like love not the world, some of you agree. We all agree, love not the world. It's in the Bible, I believe. Praise God, you have received the word. But you find as we go home, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, they choke that word. They choke that word, telling you that the, he who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. They choke that word, and you become unfruitful. You don't bear fruits. You don't become a harvest. Okay? Hi. Give me Luke chapter 12, verse 13. Jesus. Luke 12. It's a parable. So I saw my order. Luke chapter 12, verse 13 to 21. Wapo. 13 to 21. He says, then one, then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to, div to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take heed. Listen. Take heed and beware of covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. He says that the life of a man does not consist of the abundance of his possessions. Then he spoke a parable to them saying, the ground of a certain man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself saying, what shall I do since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods lay, laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat and drink and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then, those, then whose will those things be which you have provided? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Praise God. So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Hallelujah. So in a described Christ, the lesson is, the lesson of this parable, Ilianza verse 15, that you take heed and beware of covetousness because a man's life does not consist in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Hallelujah. Yeah. So your definition of a life, the, the, the world defines life by the abundance of what you possess. Mm. If I possess greater things, I am mean on corner life. So Christ is, is telling you a man's life is not defined by the abundance of what you possess. Is not defined by the abundance of your possession. And then he gave this parable. There, is a, there was a man in this world who did this and that and that. He, the ground that Alikuwa and Alima bore much fruit. He had he aka destroy storehouse in Alikuwa Nayo, the bands that he had, and aka jenga zingine kubwa. Praise God. So that he can store, he can store the increase of his possession. Praise God, which is not bad. Shida ilikuja when he said to himself, Oh my soul. Okay? Verse 19. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat and drink and be merry. Praise God. So this person, I have possessions, but he said, Take ease, eat, drink and be merry. Because you have laid up for yourself treasures for a lifetime. Hallelujah. And then God called him a fool. Praise God. Mm. And he said, And God said to him, verse 20, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. And who shall those things be which you have prepared? Then 21, 
so is he that lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. He was in a try to ambia nini. Your, your, your focus should be the other part, being rich toward God. Praise God. Sindio, remember we began by Matthew chapter 6. He says that do not lay for yourselves treasures on earth where there is the moth and the rust that will destroy, but lay for yourselves treasures in, in heaven. Praise God. And the Bible says where your treasure is, there you, will your heart be. Sawa. So if your the heart follows the treasures in Yukonayo, if your treasures are on the earth, if all you can define your life is by the treasures of the earth, where will your heart be on earth? Because, because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm. So if you want your heart to be in heaven, have, a, have treasures in heaven. Yeah. Because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Praise God. This man, all his treasures were on the earth. And so the Lord is saying, uh, he said to his soul, take ease, drink and eat and be merry. And the Lord says, all people who lay, their, who lay up their treasures for themselves and are not rich toward God are like that man. Praise God. So your focus should be being rich toward God. Sinukweli. Mm being rich toward God. That's why he's saying, again, I repeat, that you seek first the kingdom of God and you seek that righteousness of God and all the other things will be added unto you. Praise God. The same chapter, verse 31. In fact, you should, you should go and read the whole chapter 12, but the, 31. And Arudia. But seek the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added to you. Praise God. 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The kingdom. 33. Sell what you have and give arms and provide yourself passes which grow not old, a, tre a treasure in the heavens that fail not, where thief, no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Hallelujah. So we are seeing two, two things that are being compared. The Yakwanza ni the kingdom. It's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We saw that there is a kingdom. And Daniel saw one like the son of man. He approached the ancient of days and was given a kingdom. And the saints of God most high shall possess that kingdom. And then the Lord is saying, seek first that kingdom. And then he's saying that your father, it's your father's good pleasure to give you that kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's your father's good pleasure to give you that kingdom. And at Wambia that, do what? Sell what you have and give arms. Provide for yourselves money bags which do not grow old. A treasure that is in the heavens. Because when your treasure is in the heaven, your heart will be in the heavens. Praise God. And it will be easy for you to seek first that kingdom that is coming from above. Praise God. Okay? Another one. Matthew 19. Matthew 19. Verse 21 to 26. Matthew 19, 21 to 26. Word of God. 19.21 Matthew 19.21 It says So if you sum up talk about verse 16 Give me verse 16 Verse 16 It says And behold One came and said to him Good teacher what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Seventeen. And he said unto him, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if you will enter into life, keep the commandments. Eighteen. 
He said to him, which ones? Jesus said, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the young man, say, young man said to him, all these things I have kept from my youth. How do I still lack? Praise God. How do I still lack? 21. Jesus said to him, if you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor. And you will have treasures in heaven and come follow me. Munona tena. Treasures in? In heaven. And then come follow me. 22. But when the young man heard that, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. So he went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. 23. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And when his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to, to them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Praise God. So, the word of God in Afanyanga is sometimes, it gives you a command that you know you cannot do. Praise God. You have a command that, that it's hard to do. It's hard to do that, Kenya Christ and Asema. And Jesus knows that it's hard to do that. He says, a, re, a, a young ruler came to him. Naka, he was desiring to have eternal life. And a good teacher, what must I do to have eternal life? Praise God. So, this is a young person a rich person who is desiring to seek God and to have eternal life. And Jesus, and I'm listing the commandments. I'm going to you do this one and you shall mm, and you shall have that eternal life. And then the young man says, all these things have I kept from my youth. What do I lack? What else do I lack? And Jesus says, verse 21, that if you will be perfect, Praise God. If you will be perfect. This man was looking for perfection. If you will be perfect, yes, when I'm on beer, go and sell all that you have. Go and sell all that you have, give to the poor, and have treasures in, in, in the kingdom. Praise God. Have treasures in heaven, and then come and follow me. Hallelujah. Have treasures in heaven, and then come and follow me. And this thing was hard to do. Praise God. And it's hard for everyone. But there's a solution. The, <laughs> Verse 22 says, But the young man went away sorrowful. Hallelujah. Yes, you sell everything that you have. Yote, pay a maskini. And then kuja sasa. And it's a hard thing. And the rich young ruler ali react the same way when you mean react when you will react ama ume react and he went away sorrowful and it's not only the rich young ruler even the disciples he says then verse 23 then said Jesus unto his disciples verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of God and again I say to you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God Verse 25, he says, and when he, his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly astonished and said, who then can be saved? Do, if we use this criteria to have the kingdom of God, if we use that criteria, the disciples ask, Ninani sasa ataokolewa? Praise God. Ninani sasa ataokolewa? Who then can be saved? But this is what the Lord answered. The Lord said that with men it is impossible. So Jesus knows that with men it is impossible. With Washira it is impossible. Praise God. And the disciples agree. With Washira it is impossible. And the rich young ruler agreed well, that with him it was impossible. But the solution lies 
koi the last phrase but with god all things are with god all things are possible so if jesus gives you a command that is hard to do it's hard to do it's hard to to part from from your possessions it ha- it's hard to to sell everything that you have and you yourself you know that it's hard ukweli it's hard i can't do that and he went away sorrowful sasa kama ni hivyo basi hii eternal life who can be saved and jesus is saying that with men it is impossible but with god all things are possible praise god so if jesus gives you a hard command like that one what do you do you go back to him you tell him with me it is impossible but with you all things are are possible praise god angalia let's compare this is the rich young ruler and this is the disciples maybe you say peter and walisema who then can be saved wote walishangaa who then can be saved so the rich young ruler after kuambiwa hivyo he went away okay what about peter and the disciples walifanya nini they stayed si ni kweli they stayed because if i am to enter the kingdom of god and this is the criteria yenye yesu atatumia and the other many criteria zenye atatumia and i want to have eternal life that like that rich young ruler and to enter that kingdom that we began by saying that this kingdom the saints of the of god most high shall possess it shall possess possess shall possess it hallelujah yeah the saints of of god most high shall possess it and you own that kingdom praise god amen and you own that kingdom you own that eternal life and this is the rule with me it is impossible but with you it is with you it is possible sawa so jesus is giving us a kingdom and we have there is a world he's telling us do not love that world because if you love that world then you don't love the father matthew 6:33 says you cannot serve god and serve mammon ama money praise god you can't have both hallelujah you either detach neither you detach from one and you receive the other it's either you will serve one and ignore the other ama you be loyal to this one and ignore this one si ni kweli so it's a matter of choice if i want to serve god he's telling me that you have to detach from the things of the world praise god so you are a rich young ruler he tells you to sell everything you have hadi hiyo rulership enye uko nayo praise god and it's hard i it's hard i can't do that solution si kuenda many people kenya wanafanya solution ni ikae basi praise god and you when unaenda left but the disciples knew if i am to enter that kingdom he says if i am to enter that kingdom then i will acknowledge that mimi siwezi jesus if you want me to get into that kingdom enable me praise god mm, and jesus knows and god knows that for men it is impossible it's impossible but for me all things are possible praise god mm. jesus is not saying go and sell everything that you have can jesus only say ma is that you detach from them hallelujah the goal is not to sell everything that you have remember he said that all the other things shall be added unto you so if the goal is to make you poor mbona anaongezea all the other things unto you simnona mm so what god is saying that is not that you 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 sell everything and you stay homeless and remember what he said that a life of a man does not consist in the in the greatness of what he possesses sawa and so and i say it's the same for a man who is who has many possession but is not rich toward god praise god the goal is to be rich toward god to seek first that kingdom and you will find that he will be providing for you praise god look at the life ya angalia life ya yesu 
Angalia life ya Yesu. Jesus was never in he was every need yenye Yesu alikuwa nayo was met true or false. Everything that Jesus needed was met by God true or false. It's true. Si ni kweli? Mm. There's a day he told his disciples, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. And the disciples began to worry. Wanajiuliza ama njoo tu kubeba mkate. Praise God. And Jesus rebukes them and tells them that kwani hamkumbuki about the 5000 and the baskets that were left. Don't you remember the 4000 and the baskets that were left? Praise God. So when when Jesus has a need the father was providing for him praise god another day some people came to jesus and told him to pay the temple tax which was it was not lawful for jesus to pay the tax praise god jews hawako wanalipa tax ya temple because the temple ni yao it was the gentiles but jesus said so that we might not offend them peter get your go to the river ama to the lake praise god and the first fish yenye utashika fungua mdomo and you'll get that coin praise god and utalipa tax yangu na yako hallelujah do you now get if you seek first the kingdom god will be adding these other things to you so that your focus may itoke from these other things that the gentiles seek and to seek first this everlasting kingdom praise god amen take no thought of what you shall eat what you shall drink what you shall wear for the father knows and then anafungua kili yako na kuambia look at the birds they don't gather into bands they don't spin they don't toil and the father is feeding them look at this flower even solomon was not nai glory yote and all the gold that he had was not clothed clothed more than this flower praise god Hallelujah. He says if you being evil know how to give good things to your children how much the, shall the father give to them that ask of him. Praise God. Eh. Hey. So the key is to detach from from that possession that you're seeking hard and let the kingdom be your priority. Praise God. If you believe the word of God you will The word will prosper in your heart. Praise God. Eh. Hey. The word will prosper in your heart. You know it's hard, but with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. And when you begin to console God on that matter and you go to him, na unamwambia akusaidie to detach from these things. Let these things not be in my heart like usiku me esteem sana. Praise God. Let my life not be de- be be determined I'm a be defined by the abundance of what I possess but let me be rich towards you Can the father d- deny that prayer When do we do evil Will God atakosa kujibu maombi kama hiyo He can't Praise God mm. Give me Luke 17 26 as I finish Luke 17:26 hadi 31 Luke 17 Luke 17:26 He says And it was tunaenda di Trenda hadi 31 so is and it say and as it was and as it was in the days of noah so shall so it will be also in the days of the son of man do you remember this son of man so shall it be in the days of the son of man they ate they drank they married wives they were given in marriage until the day that noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them destroyed them all 28 Likewise as it was also in the days of Lot they ate they drank they bought they sold they planted they built 
But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, he who is on the housetop and his goods are in the house, let him not come down to take them away. And likewise, let the one who is in the field, let him not turn back. I'm sorry, give me a D, verse 33. 32 says, remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's? Remember Lot's wife. 33. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life will preserve it. Praise God. Jesus is giving us this, this cost of discipleship. Ukisoma Matthew 16, in a he, who's, he who desires to follow me must deny himself, must take up the cross, and must follow me. And he who seeks to save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life will preserve it. Praise God. In Eliezer, the days of Noah and the days of Lord, people were doing the things that we do. They were eating and drinking. They were marrying and being married. They were, they were building and all those things. Praise God. And tells you, remember Lord's wife. What happened to Lord's wife? Lord's wife, Haku, were detached from the things. He was not detached. He was not detached. Praise God. He was not detached from the things that were behind him, behind her. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying, seek first the kingdom of God. You seek his righteousness. All the other things shall be added unto you. Praise God. If you have the love of the Father, the love of the world will not be in you. Hallelujah. Hey. Yeah. So make sure that when you have the abundance of possessions, if God blesses you and you have that abundance, take heed that you do what? You be rich toward God also. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And for that, I thank you for listening. I would like to welcome our pastor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us appreciate to Ashira again with a clap. Amen. Why can't you open your mouth and tell the Lord to grant you great to seek his kingdom and it is righteousness and all the other things shall be added unto us. Our heavenly Father, we are before thee this morning and we are praying that you may give us the grace, the grace to seek your kingdom, to seek your kingdom and your righteousness, Lord. We pray, Jehovah, that you may help us, grant us grace, grant us strength, order our steps, O oh God, for the glory and the honor of your name. We nullify every spirit of worrying in our lives. We nullify every spirit of anxieties. We nullify every work of the enemy against our lives to destabilize our faith in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Probably you are there, you are telling the Lord, you have been, uh, you have been in the midst of worrying, worrying because of the, the uh, because probably of the things that are disturbing you in your life, probably it is your place of work, probably it is your family. You are there, you have been worrying, having anxieties, anxieties. Just raise up your heart, we pray together in the name of Jesus Christ. Probably you are there, you are there, you have, you have been worrying, you are jobless, you, you are short of finances to meet your needs just raise up your heart in the name of Jesus Christ you are there you need a prayer yes let us pray our heavenly father in the name of Jesus we nullify every spirit of anxieties anxieties of what we shall eat what we shall drink what we shall wear or even about our lives because you have good plans for us I commit my brother I commit my sister before thee and I pray may you carry all their burdens for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name, we do pray and give thanks. And the church say amen. And the church say amen. Appreciate the Lord again in Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen. Probably you are there, you are not born again, and you would like to give your life to Christ. Just raise up your hand. There is that opportunity for you. Na mungu atakubariki. Asante. Mungu awabariki. Thank you, Washira. Thank you, our young people. Mungu awabariki. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Um, we have we have two announcements that I would like to make uh, before we progress. Number one, uh, for our dear sisters, um, uh, we in women, uh, we you will be having prayers on this coming Saturday, and these prayers will be joint prayers between our dear women and our dear daughters. And uh, the prayers will be at your prayer center, within women prayer center, at Kabemoto, Padea Kadisi. You are all requested to meet at your women, uh, within women altar, Pare Lisa. And uh, in the morning, transport will be provided. Then you will all go together to your prayer center, Mungu Atawabariki. Our bishop will be ministering, so it will be a wonderful day. The prayers will start from 9 uh, in the morning. Namungu Nemuema. This is a joint prayers between the daughters and the wedding women. Namungu Nemuema Katika Jina Raisu Christo. Number two, as I finalize, I was 